Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at restricted profiles in Android TV. One of the use case scenarios for me wanting to use a restricted profile is to limit the access my kids have to certain apps on my Android TV. Things like having access to my Prime Video, there may be content there that I can't necessarily secure. Or um, YouTube, for example, they go and watch things that may not be appropriate. So I may just want to limit access to, let's say, YouTube Kids. As well, if they do go into my YouTube profile, you can see my feed gets bombarded with all these Disney princesses and Ariana Grande things. And by using a restricted profile, I can actually have them sign in with a different account if I wanted to. So let's get right into it. Let's create a restricted profile and see how it works. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the settings cog at the top. Next, we'll go into device preferences. Then we'll go down to the very bottom to security and restrictions. And then we'll select create restricted profile. Now we'll set our new pin. This will be used to go back into our regular profile. Now we're prompted with allow apps and this is gonna be where you make your selection of the apps you wanna make available to your restricted user. Now we'll go back to our home screen and then we'll go through the process of logging into our restricted profile. Just head over to the top of your screen, click on that restricted profile, and then say enter restricted profile. Once logged in, you'll be presented with a nice vanilla screen uh, where it is a brand new profile, completely separate from your owner profile. Next, we're just gonna head over to the apps button on the left-hand side and see the available apps that I allowed earlier on. I click on the YouTube icon to see how it is a separate profile and show you how you can log into another YouTube account. Here you could choose to sign in with an account that's already existing on your Android TV box, or you could use the use YouTube signed out feature so it doesn't actually log in with any user account. Next, we're gonna go back and we're gonna log back into our owner profile. Once again, we're gonna to head to the top to the little double man. And we're gonna choose the option exit restricted profile. And we're gonna enter the pin that we created earlier on. So this is where I'm gonna end the video off today. Hopefully this was informative for you and hopefully you'll throw a likes up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.